earlier when we looked at this long reverb plugin, this D-verb, we noticed there were green boxes around all the parameters. Well, how did they get there? To show you, let me make another iteration of the reverb. If this red box is checked, it will lay the second iteration on top of the first one. I'm gonna uncheck this box and then click the second instance of D-verb. Notice that it's put the second instance on top of the first one. So now we can compare the top one, which is on the left, to the bottom one on the right. And the way we get these parameters to be green, to be automatable, is to go to the auto page. And notice that over here, they're all on the left. On this one, they've all been moved to the right. That's a fairly easy process. You select the ones that you want. I'm using the command key on a Mac. It would be the control key on a PC. Or you can select them all by holding the shift key and just select the entire list, add them. And then when we say, okay, these guys are all green like the guys on the left. So how do they become red? When you switch from automation read to automation write, any parameter that is automatable is now ready to be changed. Be careful if you change the type of reverb in the middle of mix or even in tracking, you'll likely hear a click as it changes the algorithm. These are automatable, but be careful. You might want to just change it in a muted spot. In other words, if you want to change the reverb, find a place where you can get along without the reverb for a second, mute the track, make the change, and then bring it back with the new setting. Better still is to create a second instance of the reverb and change the send for the first one and activate the send for the second one. The rest of these parameters should change without any noticeable glitch in the sound. If I jump to the edit window, I'm gonna take out the second instance just so that we know what we're looking at and not confused by which is which. So that D verb is there. I'm gonna automate something. I'll change its decay. Back to the beginning, writing automation, changing the decay level down and then back up again. So I don't see it here, but it is in the lane. If I go here and then to decay, I can see the move that I just made. So you'll find this in the instrument plugins as well. Anytime you see auto up here and this window, you should be able to find the parameters on the left, add them to the list of things that can be automatable, and then they'll show up green until you switch to latch or right. And then you can automate those parameters in your mix.